Hey Rocky Point, I wanted to shoot a quick video of a cooking lesson today for you. Something that I've made a couple of times now while held up in isolation here. It doesn't take too much effort. It's absolutely delicious, really good for you, and ultimately provides a lot of meals so you don't have to do too much food prep at once. It is essentially a round of roast or a brisket of roast um, cooked in a crock pot in the oven. And it, it's kind of like a braised meat at the end of it. It becomes very tender, lots of juices in it, and you cook it with your choice of uh, vegetables and fixings. Um, again, guys, I'm going to accompany this video with a bunch of photos, kind of from start to finish of how I go about it, but I'll just give you some quick instructions. The first thing that you're going to need is some sort of crock pot, guys, um, like a cast iron style of pot. Uh, if you don't have a pot like that, you can do this in a slow cooker. It's going to be different, but um, keep in mind that the first thing you'll need is some sort of cast iron style of pot or crock pot. And from there, guys, what you're going to do is you're just going to bring the pot up to temperature on the top of the stove top, put a little olive oil in it, and turn on your oven to 350 degrees. Um, that is on bake, not on convention. Once you've got your kind of pot up to temperature, guys, you're going to, uh, prior to that, actually, make sure you take your... Um, roast of meat out of the fridge. Just let it sit on the counter for a half hour. If you don't remember to do that, it's not the end of the world. Um, but if you wanna ideally just kinda let that thing come to around room temperature a bit. Put a ton of salt and pepper on it. Throw it in the crock pot on top of the stove and sear each side of it for about two minutes. You're gonna sear all the juices in and uh, create a nice crust layer around the um, piece of beef that you're using. And then from there, guys, what you're going to do is take it out of the pan. I usually use, personally, fresh ginger at that point and throw some fresh ginger in the pan and some whatever herbs and spices that I'm going to use and just let those saute for about a minute or two. Make sure you don't overcook that portion of it or burn those fresh herbs and ginger. And then you're going to um, take the pan off the heat, guys, and pour in some beef broth or chicken broth if you don't have beef broth. I've made some homemade chicken broth because um, I was running out of beef broth this time. Uh, I could shoot another video on that, but it's really quite easy. Um, I cooked a whole chicken. I ended up just boiling the bones down afterwards with some herbs and spices. Uh, once you pour that into the pan, guys, that will kind of um, take away the searing of the pan and prepare it to put the beef back in. You put the beef back in the pan at that point, guys, and then you're gonna put a whole chopped onion with quite big pieces into the bottom of it. And then you're going to layer whatever kind of carbohydrate vegetable you'd wanna put in there. I personally put in some yams and some potatoes. And then I put in um, a spring of fresh rosemary on the top and a little more herbs and spices. And then finally, guys, I put in some balsamic white wine vinegar, and a tiny bit of apple cinnamon, or apple cider, I should say, uh, for some more flavoring. And it'll also help um, with the reduction of the um, juices around the roast as it uh, kind of boils and condenses down. Then you just throw a lid on it, guys, and chuck it in the oven for three hours exactly. Once you've had it in there for three hours, just take it out of the oven, let it rest on top for another half hour or so, and that's it. It'll be cooked. Uh, the meat will be super tender and kind of like falling apart and flaking apart. I might shoot a quick little video or at least a photo of what the finished product looks like. That's uh, one more time, guys, before it goes in the oven. That's what it looks like.